What's going on everybody? This is the base fight here today. We're going to be talking a little bit about Nuketown 2025 zombies on the Xbox 360, specifically on the Xbox 360 because for those of you guys who uh, paid attention to some of the news, basically uh, the developers of Call of Duty signed something with Microsoft, which is obviously the development company behind the Xbox 360, uh, allowing Microsoft to get the DLC content drops for Call of Duty a month before any other console, PC, whatever gets it. So, in this case, a uh, Nuketown 2025 Zombies just recently came out for the Xbox 360, and I can only assume no word has been officially announced about this, but I can only assume that the PC version and the PS3 version for other consoles uh, will be coming out sometime in January, possibly February, not 100% sure. Again, usually it's a month after Xbox 360 gets it. Unfortunately, for those of you guys who are on Xbox 360, you're probably going to have to wait. Now, I'm going to go over some of the details for those of you who do have the Xbox 360 and for those of you who expect to get it uh, when it's available for the PS3 and the PC. Uh, basically, if you've pre-ordered or just flat out purchased the Care Package Edition or Harden Edition of the game, you have the access to the map itself. So you get Nuketown 2025 Zombies with the Care Package Edition or the Harden Edition. But if you did not get the Care Package or the Harden Edition, if you just got the regular edition, you're going to have to get the $50 Season Pass. And, of course, you get with the Season Pass all the maps and stuff like that. So uh, you're not really missing out on much. I purchased the Season Pass and I got the Care Package Edition because I want the other maps as well. Uh, but I got New 10 2025 Zombies. What you're watching now is my very first game in zombies of any type of Call of Duty. I never played Black Ops because I got my Xbox 360 right when MW3 came out. And MW3 unfortunately did not have a zombies edition in the games, in no zombie multiplayer game mode in there. Uh, but Black Ops 2 luckily has it. Uh, and I'm really enjoying Newtown 2025 Zombies Edition. It's a very close quarters map. It makes it very hard to play, especially since this was my very first game you're watching. I'll get better at it over time. Hopefully I'll upload more commentaries in the near future for Black Ops 2 Zombie Edition on Newtown 2025. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. This is the base fight.